So when we walk through that door and we fight for the things that are coming our way and we stand on the words of prophecy that we've received and the prophecies that we've spoke, because I know that this whole house a few weeks ago spoke as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. That's a prophecy that you spoke over your home that you should be battling for. Right? That's just one of them. Let alone, if you've been in this ministry very long, I guarantee you, you've received a word from me. You've received a word from my wife. And I guarantee you, if you take those words and battle them out, we will conquer those this season. But we don't conquer if we allow the enemy to continuously grip and choke our heart out. Choke us out to the point that we give up and we go, oh, I tried. No, warriors don't try. Warriors win. Warriors battle. Sometimes a warrior will go to his knee. But it's not in defeat. It's to regain strength. He goes to his knee to fight a good fight of faith because when he says amen, he stands back up. He's in prayer when he's usually on his knee. That's what we should be doing this season. That's what I've seen this season. I've seen that, that once the door opens and the battle begins, this year we don't become last year's Christian. This year we become a new man. And we walk in the new man that we claim to be. The old man is dead and the new man's alive. Amen? Amen. We no longer stand there and let the enemy defeat us. And we walk away friends with the devil.